Hey there, so what I want to show you in this video is fixing what I want to call an unoptimized partition with the Veeam agent for Windows. I've used the agent to restore to an SSD or a bigger drive and resize, but it can also help you in this scenario. So there's three things I want to show you. I want to configure an agent recovery media, then we're going to boot from that media, and then we're going to show the corrected partitions. So let's jump in the lab. So the first thing I'm looking at here, you can kind of maybe see the problem right away. I have this recovery partition sitting in front of some unallocated storage. So actually you can see that I can't actually go and extend the volume. So that's a problem I'm trying to fix. I have five different agents in this protection group. They all have this problem. So what I want to do, first thing, is make this recovery media. So you can do it right here or you can do it up on the ribbon. But let's just go ahead. You can also do it up there. That's another way to do it. But let's go ahead and make uh, the type be ISO image file. Um, and let's just do it. And let's give it a name. Um, and basically, boom, done. It's going to make it in the My Documents path. It takes about a, a minute to write it out to disk if everything is you know, nice and connected and fast. And you'll see here's one that's already made. You'll see this is desktop 01 or desktop 1 that I've already made. And I just created it for desktop 3. It takes around one minute. It'll, it's going to collect up some files here. And then it's going to bundle it up as an ISO. boop a doop a doop and then it's basically done. It does not take long at all. And I actually recommend you should do this anyways. Have this for your <coughs> consistent model types. Anything special with drivers and stuff, you always want that. And anything that, you know, your physical systems in particular. Now one thing I want to tell you, this is a virtual machine. So a lot of this, you know, will apply there to physical worlds, but I just want to highlight it's This is a lab, so it's a little bit easier to do those types of things as a VM. So what I'm going to then show you now, I just made the image for desk 3. Desk 1 I have powered off, just to highlight that. Um, you'll see I'm not getting a response. Okay, Actually, just to prove something here, let's just run it perpetually. <clears throat> so let's go over to test 1. Now I have it kind of powered off here. And I have the ISO already mounted. And it's powered on, and it's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape out of here and then I gotta get ready with my keyboard to get the boot menu see if I there we go Whew. okay so now what I want to do is tell it to boot from that removable drive and it didn't alright so let me check out and see what why is it not booting from that ISO ah so the problem was I said removable drive and it's actually a CD-ROM so that's why it didn't boot. So basically, if I look up here, taking off the keyboard controller, that recovery media is actually here. So that's why. So that's why I skipped through. So let's boot it as a CD. All right, press any key to boot from CD. This does look a little bit better. I was used to doing it as uh, physical, which would be USB. That's why I went for um, removable. So let's see what we get here. So if you've not been through the Veeam Agent Recovery Media, actually, it's a great tour because it's got a number of tools that you can have here, so it's very helpful. And, um, you know, if you want to, you can also go to new hardware, but I have that disk configuration. I'm going to use the same target, so if you're in a physical situation as well, it can help you there. Again, this is as a virtual machine. It's really easy to capture the recovery environment from a video standpoint but if you were on a physical system right uh, that I need a DRAC or something like that all right so let's just do some bare metal types of recovery let's do it all right so I know for a fact that the backup isn't there so it's not going to find it on local storage so the next thing it's going to do is going to ask me where is it I know that it's in a Veeam backup repository so it's in, and then I know that I need to log in. I am lucky with short name, I hope, here. I am, good. So there's number one. Let's take number one. 
and I'm going to take the most recent. All right, so here we go. Now, I want to get into some of the reallocation of partitions right there. That's why I'm here. So what I want to do now, this is interesting, okay, because I don't need, I really don't need that, that partition in the way that those other bits here. So if I look here, you know, I have the ability to do some partition remapping, and so let's do it. And so this is where I left off. This problem, or this uh, volume here, I know that I'm not going to use. So, and if you look, I kind of see that I have some options here. So let's take a look. I know I don't need that, but I'm not really in the business of deleting partitions. Um, might give me new problems. But, you know, one philosophical bit is this, when you buy some of the computers that come with these larger recovery image partitions, if you're using the Veeam agent anyways, you probably don't need those. So keep that in mind, but um, let's see if we can just resize this as it is. Because if not, I could remove that because I know that that, that one that's quote unquote in the way is, is not used. But again, take a backup first. So let's see what we get here. Because I'm tempted to just remove that, you know, but as you can see, yeah, I can't go up. I can go down. That's not going to help me. So let's just uh, remove this one here. So this should give us some options here. So here, and that's, that's I don't need that either. I know that I don't need that. There, this is what I'm looking for here. Um, so maximum vault size. Let's just take that and go there. And bag it and tag it. That is why we're here. All right. And you can see that I'm not taking that unknown partition that was in the way. That's it make the map and do it. So now basically it's going to take that whole image level backup and not restore it in the same linear mode but restore it in the drawn out mode that I just did here. Now again I recommend that if you go into doing things like removing partitions and the like you know that you need to do that. And in this example here the big partition is that C drive here which is around 30 gigs and Actually, this is going to go quite quickly. Again, this is a virtual machine. This is on a lab. Um, so it's, it's moving quite nicely. I'm happy with that. Um, so I might just hold it. I won't even have to pause the video because I want you to see kind of how these things boot up. And actually, while that's running, I'll show you one thing that is going to go on in the background. If you go over here, I should see a restore going on. Yeah. So I should see a um, yeah Windows agent restore session so it doesn't give me a full amount like I can't it'll log of course when it's done but you can see it's just some basic things happening here which is kind of cool so it's at least visible in the console that I'm doing that and so we'll let this proceed here for a bit I do think there's around 20 gigs um, and again this is a virtual machine so let's go ahead and pause it until we get a little bit closer to towards the end all right, here I did um, pause it for about four minutes, and it just finished up. And um, so it's finishing up here. Some driver love, some registry, um, etc. Now I've ever myself never done that type of this type of restore where I remove a partition. I've always extended, like if I'm going to a bigger drive. And again, I usually do that off of like a USB boot media. Um, this is interesting on the updating drivers because there's actually no new drivers but it is I believe going to reconcile the drivers with the recovery media and what's in the um, the image itself so it may not actually transfer or change anything and maybe is more of just a reconciliation make sure they're consistent and I did make this recovery media literally moments before this so it was up to date alright so let's see what we got here marking the system as restored looks good to me so let's go ahead and boot. Um, do you want to reboot your computer now? I do. And just to clean up, um, again, because this is a virtual machine, it wouldn't match exactly, you know, in, in a production environment uh, for physicals, obviously. But make sure we remove that uh, media. So let's go over here, removable. It's still stuck in there. Let's disconnect that. And it's already booted back up into regular Windows, which is already a good sign here. Um, and I'll just stay right here because this should solve the problem here. 
Um, let's log in as Rick instead of Kirsten. And so the other one I haven't done yet, remember it looks something like this, right? Just to s show you where we started. Let's see what we got now. And while I'm at it, I can give some more video RAM to this, get that uh, resolution right. But what I can tell you now here, if I look in the C drive, well, let's just go, let's actually go to where it really matters, actually, now that I think about it. I can tell you already it worked, which is encouraging. And if we go into partition world, we will see a uh, lot. The C drive, hopefully, is indeed much like I want it to be. And then when I go in a couple of weeks, when I need to add more space, it's not going to be that difficult. Cool stuff. All right. So what I showed you was how you can configure an agent recovery media and how you can boot that up to then do those tools. And then I showed you the corrected partitions. Who would have known? Beam Agent from Windows can help you with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.